Bolts. What's your destination, milady? Just into town. I'm an emissary of the congregation and I'm here to discuss matters with your governor. Why the checkpoint? We've got orders to verify all comings and goings. The roads are becoming dangerous. Do you have anything particular to report? Nothing out of the ordinary. Well then, good travels, milady. Your names, titles, and business at hand. Lady de Sarde, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier Fredi. I have come to present my regards to your governor. Your papers seem to be. Welcome to Hikmet, Your Excellency. this governor without me. We are at war. I'm not certain that I can remain calm if I see such a man. We rarely bow down on our ships. I hope I will not embarrass you. Your Excellence, it is an honor to meet you. Allow me to present my sincerest regards in the name of the Congregation of Merchants. And allow me to wish you and your cousin a warm welcome to the island, in the hopes that this visit will help prolong the profitable relations between our two nations. Likewise. Nevertheless, another question brings me. The Malachor. The Prince d'Orsay hopes that these new shores will bring us new possibilities, even a remedy. It is an area that concerns us greatly, but be assured we are studying it acutely. Our doctors and alchemists are particularly interested in the flora of the Isle. It's extremely varied and different from our own. In fact, we have sent a group of explorers into a very promising sector. Alas, we've had no news from them for quite some time now. We are hoping that nothing has happened. We would have sent a patrol to investigate, but we cruelly lack the means to do so. The natives have proven aggressive, even hostile to our studies, and have attacked us regularly. You ask the question why? You steal our lands, gouging the earth in sacred places. And now our people are disappearing. 
It's enough to drive one to unsheath a blade. Do you not agree? Siora, please. I understand how you feel, but this isn't the right time. <sighs> I am sorry. You are right. My apologies, Your Excellence. Continue, please. Hmm. Yes. As I was saying, we are obligated to maintain all of our able-bodied men here in order to protect the city. But we would be happy to share with you the results of our research if... Your Excellency. This insolent interruption is untimely and unwelcome. I deeply regret, Excellency, but one of our frontier posts has just suffered a brutal attack. Report then and be precise. The natives attacked us by surprise. Our men were massacred. Our frontier post is lost. One more act of barbary. Dismissed, soldier. Where was I? Yes, we would be most pleased to share our discoveries with our allies if your cousin would send us a party to help us find our lost expedition. I could show you to which region they were sent. I thank you for the information and will let him know. If you are of a mind to accord me another request, I would be truly grateful. I'm listening. As you have not failed to observe, our troops, as well as our caravans, have been suffering incessant attacks. The merchants, including your own, are raided, often killed, and certain goods have become scarce. Captain Rainhild, who commands our outpost in the plains, has communicated his incapacity to protect them. Considering that certain of your own fellow countrymen are involved. You would like me to lend a hand. I will see what I can do, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? Could you tell me a little about your city? Hikmet is the oldest city on the island. We began construction of its first buildings 15 years ago, shortly after the discovery of the island. A magnificent city where the great minds of the time were united in a common goal. Here you could find the best doctors, the greatest engineers, and the most eminent savants. In everyone's eyes, this island has great promise, and Hikmet is the city that allows us to make good on that promise. And what of this conflict with Teleme on Tirfredi? Officially, we are at war, but we have never waged war openly here. Of course, we did not rejoice when they set up camp on the Isle, and we expected the worst. But it seems that their only concern is to convert the natives into believing their ridiculous teachings. They represent no true danger to us. At least, not for the time being. And to be frank, we have plenty of other concerns that demand our attention. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lady.
Greetings. My caravan goes through all the cities, and the journey is safe. So, where would you like to go? To New Serene, please. Cousin, you have returned to me. Your absence was sorely felt. You don't appear to be in top form. Are house intrigues keeping you from finding proper sleep? No, nothing to bring me nightmares as of yet. I'm blaming it on the change of diet. Now, tell me what adventures you've been up to. If you only knew how bored I grow behind these walls. I would like, if you would allow me the honor, to introduce Bishop Petrus. Emissary of Teleme. Your Highness, may the light warm you in its holy embrace. Enchanted to meet you, my father. I've come here to present respects from Teleme and best wishes from the Mother Cardinal. She has my most sincere thanks. But before speaking further, I would like to discuss matters with my cousin, if you would be so kind. Any news of your parents? No. With the time it takes to travel to the continent, it's not surprising. But I don't miss them. My father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain. As for my mother, you know her. She's probably too busy planning her next assassination to have noticed my absence. Any news of your parents? No. My father's... As for... She's probably too... I have been to the neighboring cities, as you asked of me. Tell me then, was your journey adventurous? Well, I was able to gain audience with the governors, give them your regards, and glean some information. The Bridge Alliance believes that a remedy could possibly be found by studying the local flora. They are quite motivated, but their research expedition has gone missing, and there is no sign of life. And since they themselves are under constant attack, they cannot spare a rescue party to investigate. The Mother Cardinal, in her opinion, believes the Malachor to be the result of a curse. A curse cast by a demon. An evil creature worshipped by a cult of island natives. If you would allow me to second the request of our Mother Cardinal, we are in dire need of your help. Our Inquisitors are hardly diplomats and... But I should let you finish, my daughter. They have started their investigations in a village where strange events have been taking place but they are unable to get to the bottom of it. The population keeps its secrets, and Teleme hopes that we might help them learn more about the cult. This is all extremely interesting. You have lived up to my expectations, as always. That said, we find ourselves between the rock and the hard place. The bridge is already in open conflict with the island natives. Teleme and their inquisitors we're going to have to tread on eggshells, but let's follow all the clues to their mysteries. We need to help them continue their investigations. Perhaps one will lead us to something useful. 
I don't have a lot of men, as well you know, and since I only trust you among them, take Kurt and any others that seem useful. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. If you would allow me, Your Highness, I would be honored to assist your cousin on her investigation. Very well, then. You could start by indicating the precise location of your nasty village. Of course, Your Highness. I should have thought of that sooner. Allow me to mark the location on your map, my daughter. Thank you. Have no fear, Constantine. I will take care of all matters at hand. Anything else? Are you liking your new role as a governor? How does it feel? <sighs> Honestly? Once the thrill of the first few days is over, it's boring. I receive delegations from everywhere. They arrive with their arms full of presents to make me sign some agreements. Most of them take me for a fool who will be easily convinced by some silver trinket. I would love to simply brush them all off and work on some real projects. I have so many ideas to make this city, this island, truly amazing. How are relations with our allies? Oh, they bow and scrape, and they regularly assure me of their unwavering friendship so that they can better try to convince me to embrace their point of view, and only theirs. Teleme wants to convert me, and the Alliance assures me that only they will allow us to benefit from progress. They're a bunch of old foxes, but they take me for a young, brainless rabbit. The only thing they really want is to increase their influence on this island, with our help. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. <laughs>